Hello and welcome to the session on how to create bolt retention on the bolt with external force in hyperman optic slot user profile. So in this session you will see the introduction of bolt retention, then what is 3D bolt retention and finally an example of 3D bolt retention on hypermesh. So first see the introduction of bolt retention. So bolt retention defined as the tension created in half an hour profile. This tensile force in the bolt creates a compressive force in the bolt itself known as clamp force. For practical purpose, the clamp force in an unloaded bolted joining assumed to be an equal and opposite object. The benefits of the bolt retentions are the rigidity of the joint, that is, no slip surface, no loosening of the bolts due to vibration, better performance in fatigue, and tolerance of stabilization. Now, see what is 3D bolt retention. So the bolt is presented as the 3D solid elements in the bolt, uh, 3D bolt retention. A transfer surface in the bolt is identified along with it is cut and the duplicate grids are then controlled by multiple point constraints and S point to simulate the retention effect. So in this image, you can see uh, S point that is independent scalar point is connected by MPC, a duplicate grid that is independent grid and dependent grid. Of the bolt. So the reaction force on the scalar point due to an enforced displacement on it can be shown to be equal to the sum of the magnitudes of the force acting on either the dependent or the independent grid point. So when these forces are applied, static analysis is performed to calculate the deformation of the structure. Now let us see an example on 3D bolt retention in hypermesh. For that opening hypermesh. So for this tutorial, we are going to consider this model. So this model is meshed with 3D solid elements. Uh, one end of this plate is constrained in all six degrees of freedom with SPC, and an external force of 500 Newton is acting on the other side of the plate. So let us uh, review the components for material and property assignment. So as you can see, the components are assigned with the material and property. So contacts are predefined in this model. So let us review the contact one by one. So let us review this contact. So this contact is between bolt head and the upper plate. So the blue surface uh, represent the master surface in the contact, and the red surface is uh, shear surface in the contact. So let us review the second uh, contact. So this contact is between the nut and the bottom plate. So this third contact is defined between the uh, two plates and uh, then uh, this contact is between bolt head, bolt shank and plate poles and finally uh, the contact between bolt and nut. So now uh, also uh, nonlinear cards are predefined in this uh, model. So let us review one by one. So NL param card is uh, used to activate nonlinear solution method. Uh, NL adapt uh, is a adaptive control card and an allowed card is used for uh, creating intermediate solution output request for in the output pipe. Uh, then we have SPC and then external force. So to create a 3D bolt pretension, uh, first uh, hide all the component except bolt, then go to tools. And then pretension manager to add a 3D bolt pretension, click on add 3D bolts and then cl click on create new surface. So, this will redirect you to creating a contact surface. So, click on solid surface, make sure the card image uh, should be surface. Uh, so, select a few elements on uh, the, the bolts and select the nodes along the surface. Then click on create. So this will create a surface named pretension uh, in the pretension manager. Uh, so select a load type as a force and define the load collector. So create new load collector. Define the load magnitude as 5000. Leave the other field as default. Click on OK to create pretension force that is pretty force. So 5000 Newton pretty force is created on the bolt. Let us on all the component. 
Now to create a load step for pretension, right click on the model browser, then click on create and then click on load step. So name as pretension. So select analysis type as nonlinear static analysis. Uh, under the SPC define constraints. Under the NL param feed, define NL param load collector. Uh, under the retention, define uh, retention load collector that is PT force. Define NL adapt and NL out card respectively. Now create a second load step for external force. So define analysis type as nonlinear static analysis. Define a constraint under the SPC. Define external force under load. Then define NL param card. Define a pretension load case in stack sub pretension. So stack sub pretension used for locking the bone pretension in preceding load cases. So define an adapter card and then an allowed card. Now search for the subcase option and then a C antenna SOP that is continue nonlinear subcase. So select option as CID that is subcase ID and define the first load case that is pretension. So CNTNL SUV uh, is used for continuous or nonlinear solution from previous nonlinear solution subcase. Now uh, to define the control cards uh, for uh, output request and param card, click on analysis, then click on control cards. Search for global output request. Uh, click on contact that is contact force. Select format as 3D. Search for displacement. Define format as 3D. Then search for grid bold. And then uh, define the format as opti. Uh, I will discuss uh, the pretension bolt uh, in uh, later. Then uh, define stress and strain. Then click on return. Now search for param card. And now search for uh, check element. Click on check element and set the value as new. So optishock, so optishock solver will not check the element quality. Now search for unsymmetric solver. Select unsymmetric solver and set the value as this. So optishock will solve uh, with unsymmetric solver. Then click on return. Then search for screen and set the value as out. So this will result in uh, echoing out the out file while solving the model in OptiStruck. Click on return. Now export the file and run this uh, .fm file in OptiStruck. So I have already uh, solved this file and I load the results in Hyperview. So opening Hyperview. So the left side of this window is for a subcase one that is pretension subcase. And the right side of this window is for a uh, subcase two that is external one. So in the first load case that is in the pretension, we have a displacement of 0 0.03. And for the second load case that is for with external load, we have displacement of 16.62 mm. Uh, now let us take uh, stra maximum stresses in the second load case. So change the result type to elemental stresses. And select a one message as a stress type. Select averaging method as simple 
and click on apply so this is the stresses uh, 3.356.104 uh, mb now let us see uh, uh, the prt file so after solving this model OptiStruct will uh, write down .prt file and .secrets file. So let us uh, see first uh, .prt file. So open that .prt file in Notepad. So dot this file uh, store the data on uh, pretension forces or adjustment value on the uh, pretension section. So this can be controlled by pretension mode. Uh, IO6 uh, entry. So in this file, uh, we have a uh, pretension, uh, then we have a uh, surface ID, then we have a uh, scalar point ID, that is S point ID, then we have uh, incremental force value, adjustment incremental value, then we have total value of force and, and the adjustment value respectively. So let us uh, go for the uh, Retention six uh, subcase. So uh, we have defined five thousand newton of force. So here we can see here the incremental force uh, and the total force is same. That means the total force is applied on the uh, retention section. And similarly for the adjustment value for incremental and for the total is same. Uh, now let us see uh, section. Uh, secrets file so opening the secrets file in notepad so uh, this file uh, is created when uh, section bulk data or we have 3d bold pretension are present in the model uh, so this file contains section coordinate system and uh, sectional resultant force and moment value uh, also it contains a uh, full name of the section uh, for pretension uh, so uh, for section area and coordinate system so this is the uh, the area of the pretension section these are, these are the coordinate system of this pretension section and uh, those are the reference point for the, the section so in this uh, uh, secrets file uh, we can see uh, the forces acts on the sections so uh, let us see for the first load case so the applied force is uh, 5000 newton so force in x direction is 5000 here uh, then also we have the moment value here moment in x direction y direction and z direction so those values are used to calculate uh, the stresses on the board thank you very much for watching this video